Good morning. Hi, it's Holly with Smile by Holly. Thanks for joining me. So we have been camping all summer. You know, in fact, here's maybe a secret, not really a secret, but something you didn't know about me. But my husband and I also have a YouTube camping channel. <laughs> and we've been doing that for, oh, I think this is going on our fourth year because we love camping. And so a lot of times in the summer, I find myself crafting while we're up in the mountains, which I enjoy. It does my heart like so good, but it's still packing up all your supplies and <laughs> taking them on the road, which is, you know, you've got to be thinking ahead of what will I need to create this? But anyway, I have a love for not only crafting, but also my heart is uh, just has, I have a big heart for camping also. So anyway, if you want to check that out just for fun, uh, we are called Let's Go Now Adventures on YouTube. And it's just kind of fun. If you're into camping at all, you know, we do a lot of fun recipes and tips and you know how to camp and you know all that good kind of fun stuff so anyway so that's just a tidbit about me but anyway today I was just so excited because we're gonna make a camping journal now this can be any type of journal but I thought uh, with the flavors of brown and manila folder and twine that this would be so cute as a camping journal now you know when you're up camping this is just so fun. You could sit there and write down your thoughts or you could, you know, journal or we like to actually write down different things about different spots that we like. And I thought this would come in so handy to just have with me. So anyway, look how cute that is. Now we're going to be making this out of a manila envelope, not a manila envelope, a manila folder. And so it's a little bit thicker than cardstock. And so it's a nice, good weight. It's kind of like making an album out of poster board. It's kind of like that thickness. But this is just gonna be so fun. Like I say, you could make this with any flavor. You could make it, you know, with a, like Halloween flavor or a Christmas flavor. But I just think this camping journal is such a fun idea because I would use it. <laughs> So anyway, you look at that cute paper, and this is just copy paper that I have on the inside. I just took um, five pieces, cut them in half, so there's ten pieces in here. And the thing that's neat is with this twine, you can just undo it and add more pages. The pages just slide out. So just like that, you could easily slide in a lot more pages. So that's kind of a plus with this type of cute little uh, journal. So let's just jump right in and get started. So excited to be with you and craft with you today. Okay, so take your manila file folder and go ahead and cut it down to six by nine. Okay, six by nine, and then it just automatically folds in half. But that just makes a really cute little journal size. So we've got our manila folder, and like I said, the thing I like about this is because it is a little bit more sturdy, love it. And basically now we're just gonna decorate. Let me show you how I did the inside pages. So you just take, so you just take some lightweight copy paper. You could use any type of paper. You could use lined paper if you wanted. And fold it in half long ways, okay? And then you would just cut this in half. So if you were to do that and then cut that in half. Those are the size pages that fit into this little journal. Just so cute. I thought um, a great thing for this was tying it with the twine. Um, normally I use like stretchy elastic, but look how cute that twine looks. You know, with the whole kind of camping woodsy flavor, just so fun. So anyway, we have our base. Once again, go ahead and cut, you know, however many pages you want. Like I said, I did five pages and then folded them and cut them in half. So I actually have 10 pages here. And then I just went ahead, you know, and put a couple of stickers on here, just kind of random. I thought it was cute to 
open up the journal and have a sticker there and like on the middle page you know you could have a sticker on every page though that could be really fun too so I'm gonna add this little mousse here and then let's open it up and we'll add maybe that cute pine tree so I am curious do you guys camp um, we have camped our whole entire lives, We've done tons and tons and tons of camping. And I, I love it. I love it. But I love it more. <laughs> this is going to sound funny. But I love it more now that we got an RV. <laughs> I started having a hard time when we were laying on the, the hard ground or even when we're on an air mattress. You know, by the time you wake up in the morning and the air mattress has sunk all the way down to the ground, it's hard to get up off the floor as you get older. So uh, we just purchased a used RV, oh, about five years ago. And it has been like a blessing. <laughs> it's been a blessing. There's also something, and this is probably funny to talk about on a craft channel, but I like having my RV because there is a bathroom in there. <laughs> so just putting that out there, right? Okay, so anyway, there's our pages. Let's go ahead. I liked this cover paper so much that I'm going to use it again and just kind of switch it up a little bit. So you'll need two pieces, a front and a back. And these two pieces are four and a fourth by five and five fourths. Okay, four and a fourth by five and five fourths. And this will fit just perfectly on our journal, but also leave a little bit of a margin. Look how cute that is with the manila. Let's do the back. So just getting back, like I said, we're into September and we camp every single weekend. So it's a lot of camping, but we just love it. We love being outdoors. And you know, there's something about waking up to like the fresh smell of nature. In August, um, so last month, we woke up to two ginormous, and I let me tell you, ginormous, moose right next to our trailer and those suckers are big they were so big but it was amazing to be able to look out the window and just see the magnificence of their size and just to be so close luckily we had the trailer there and we were looking at them through the window but it was a cool 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 experience lots of fun things in the mountains okay Basically, this is just decorating, you know, decorating your journal how you want it. Um, what would you do in your camping journal? You know, you could, I think sometimes when you're out in nature, you know, your thoughts come a little bit more free. Uh, maybe because you don't have the stress of, I don't know, like the everyday busy life. You're just out there. You know, your cell phones don't work. There's no reception. You know, there's no TV. So you're just kind of out there with the sounds of nothingness so anyway just awesome of course we're going to add a bow but look at those colors i usually uh craft with like really bright colors so this was fun to use more of you know the muted colors and the browns and the kind of woodsy flavor colors and then i didn't want to add bling onto my bows because it's kind of like woodsy so i added buttons and i thought that was kind of a cute touch but let's go ahead and open this up. Now, I just use plain colored cardstock for the inside, but you could certainly, you know, if you had pattern paper, you could use, you can use whatever. So I'm just gonna take some more just regular pattern paper and get that in. So we'll put this in. And then look at these just kind of fun embellishments. Laugh hard, smile big, camp often. Love that. Love that, love that. So this summer, we did a lot of just kind of uh, boondocking and kind of like moving the trailer from spot to spot within, you know, like a certain range. We didn't travel 
a lot, a lot, just because gas has been so expensive. So we stayed mostly up in the Uinta Mountains, which is in our backyard. And then we would just move the trailer from spot to spot each week. So we still got a taste of different things, but um, we were just moving it within a relatively kind of close, not close, within a relatively, oh, I guess close area. If you can call the mountains close. <laughs> okay, so those are just cute. Just hike and be happy. Okay, just adding a few little cutouts and then we'll put our papers in. And I just, like I say, you could use the stretchy elastic works really good for these kind of albums because you can tie it really tight and the papers stay in good. So just know if you're using something that's like twine or string, you've got to tie it pretty tight so those papers stay in good. So I'm just going to Take some of this, and once again, this is where I need an extra hand to kind of hold my knot, but we'll see if I can do it. Okay, so we're gonna tie, I'm pulling it fairly tight. You know, you don't want to make a dent in your book or your pages, but because this type of string doesn't have any give, you do want it, there we go, pretty tight. But yeah, that worked out just fine. And then the pages can slide in and out or you could put more pages in. And that's what I really like about that. And then you could tie this. Oh, I'm just so pleased with this. I think I'll just leave it. I kind of like the look of that. Okay, so there are our two little camping journals. And oh my goodness, I think they are stinking cute. Just so fun to grab your camping journal and maybe this has like, oh, this spot here is good or this campsite is good or don't forget to bring your toothbrush or I mean, whatever you need to do. But this this is would be so fun even just to write your thoughts while you're up in nature. Anyway, I had fun talking to you. I'm sorry, I probably did more talking than crafting today, but it was it's just fun to have you along. And I hope that maybe I have inspired you or given you a fun idea on something that you could go make today. So, you know, if you like the video, give me a big thumbs up. I would also love to have you subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a wonderful crafting day and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.